Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, this Queen of Swords card fell on the floor, um, and instantly when I picked it up, uh, I felt this envy, jealousy, anger. Um, sh this is, I feel like this is a karmic that's being tossed out, or things are ending with a karmic. This could be a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, not necessarily, though. Um, but I feel like um, she's very upset. She's been tossed out. She could have even been tossed out of a home. Um, she could need another place to stay. She feels very betrayed, very angry over a star here and an emperor. Yep, there's an emperor coming in for their star. Okay, and it's causing a tower moment. I'm telling you, there's a, there's a karmic that's being thrown out of a home. Okay. Or this could even be a masculine, but I no, I feel like she was the one who was tossed on the floor. She's getting tossed out. Anyway, collective, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. The likes, the love, the subscribes, the cool nicknames, you guys, thank you. Yeah, this this masculine wants to work on things with you, their star. I'm feeling like um, you're the one in the star energy. You could have your own platform. You could be in the public eye. You know, um, I feel like you've led this person to an awakening because they are standing in emperor energy. And I feel like... Um, You've kind of been a guide to this person as well as others out there, okay? Um, you haven't realized it, but you soon will. This person's about to come back around. Uh, yeah, and this karmic is being thrown out. Yeah, you're their wish fulfillment. They're wondering if you can love them again the way you did before. Can they have another chance at this? You're in the process of moving forward, Collective. Um, I feel like you have new love options around you. Um, and you're putting this behind you. Whatever happened between you and this masculine. You're in the process of releasing this, trying to get over the past. Focusing on new things. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Maybe a Taurus, um, Aries, yeah. Heavy on uh, fire signs here. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Sagittarius. This person sees you as an angel, okay? You could very well be a light worker here as well. You're mixing up a new soulmate connection for yourself. I see this as manifesting a new Two of Cups. Okay, and so you're in the process of moving on, trying to forget about this person. They can't stand the burden of being away from you any longer. All of this is the truth. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you now. They've cut out this karmic. They've spoken their truth. They cannot take the separation anymore. <laughs> and they can't handle the feeling of you leaving their life. Yeah, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. You could be a Gemini, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I, I Maybe a Sagittarius. I've got heavy air out here and heavy fire for your person. But they're getting ready to talk. They've chosen. They don't want you moving on without them. See, here you are leveling up, okay? This isn't somebody picking someone up this is somebody trying to hold you <laughs> hold you back from moving away from them so some of you could be moving away uh, possibly a location change this can be travel to something new you just want to start a new phase in your life and this this masculine can't handle it they're coming back in for you collective Yes, they're very passionate about you. You're the only one that they're passionate about. They want this new beginning. I feel like there's a person that wants to get in between of this connection, okay? And I feel like it's this karmic. Because she's over here not saying much. And uh, I feel like she's planning some kind of revenge. 
She's trying to think of a way that she can stop this connection from coming into union because she knows that you and your person are about to have another chance together. This masculine is dropping these burdens and they're going to be communicating. Okay? I feel like this is a... It's a, it's a closeout to a cycle for this karmic. She is done. It's over. That karmic situation is coming to an end. And this masculine wants to start something new with you. I feel like this masculine is standing up for themselves. All right? They're done just standing around um, being in a situation they don't want. They're tired of being without you, Collective. They want this. Yep, they're standing up for themselves. They're going against this Queen of Swords energy. They were possibly in a commitment, definitely a home situation here. And they're speaking their truth. They're cutting out the karmic. They're not wasting any more time, okay, just standing around. They want this new, um, new beginning with you, with their true twin. So this karmic man, there's, I feel like this masculine too, she, they know that this karmic wants to try to make some kind of plan to come in between this connection. So they're trying to stop that from happening. It's almost like they're threatening this karmic. You stay the heck away from my divine feminine. You know, I feel like they're, they're taking that kind of stance. You don't come near this connection. You hear me? I know that you want to sabotage us. I know you want to get in the middle, but I'm not going to let you. You back off the divine feminine. They're literally um, not going to allow this karmic to come anywhere near you or this connection. This karmic doesn't know what to do. They're having sleepless nights. They're worried. They're scared. Uh, they're having nightmares because they don't know where to go. Maybe they're losing their they're losing a home situation and they could be losing maybe financial support as well. But there's a masculine here who's telling them, I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with my divine feminine. And I'm not letting you near this connection anymore. You know? I feel like this masculine has realized that the karmic just wanted to stop this connection from coming together wanted to possibly win at all costs but yeah there is you're everything to this person you are everything to this person you could be dealing with um uh, an aquarius maybe a cancer pisces scorpio or you could be a cancer pisces scorpio Yeah, this person's getting ready to take some kind of action towards you. Um, it, it, you may have already spoken to this person, okay? And maybe um, somebody here could have said that, yeah, let's have a second chance. And then this person comes and um, tells this karmic to back off. It, it could go either way. But I'm telling you, there it almost comes across as a threat. Like this karmic is kind of, or this masculine is kind of, it feels like they're threatening the karmic. Like, don't you dare. Like, don't you dare come towards this connection. I don't know what they, how they plan on stopping this karmic because she wants revenge bad. But yeah, union, okay? I feel like this is coming into union. I got that in the last reading, too. So this could even be like somewhat of an extended version of the last reading I got. Yeah, this person feels like a fool, but they're taking this leap of faith. This is starting a whole new journey, okay? Starting a whole new journey. So, yeah, they're, gonna, they're about to come towards you. You're about to get a lot of action from this person. Um, you're about to get a lot of communication from this person. And um, I'm seeing this as uh, it's, coming, it's coming back together. Yeah, two of cups energy. It's coming back together. 
So get prepared, right? You're about to go into union with this masculine. Uh, they're going to talk. Yeah, it's going to. They're going to have a victory in this. They could be getting a lot of encouragement right now from people in their inner circle, right? I feel like nobody that they had in their life liked this karmic. I feel everybody, everybody kind of hated this karmic, okay? So they find out that this masculine is coming towards you, and they all start celebrating, yay, hooray, you know, you kick the karmic out, right? Um, and I feel like this karmic is mad, 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 big, mad, jealous. Oh my gosh, here's the thing. I don't think she loved this masculine. I feel like she was really just wanting to win at all cost, okay? She wanted to keep this connection apart. She didn't want this person to be with you, okay? It had nothing to do with love. It was all about competition and wanting to win. And this karmic now is, they, she's lost. Okay, she's lost this masculine. She's lost her home. She's lost her financial support. She could have lost um, any kind of credibility with everybody that is in their inner circle. But this masculine is walking away and they're coming in to commit to you. Okay, they want to be loyal. They want to be dedicated to you. This person is ready. They're ready. Okay, collective. They're going to be completely, uh, I want to say blowing off the karmic, but they're also like standing up to the karmic and protecting this connection. They most certainly are. All right. And I feel like there's really nothing that this karmic can do besides take the L, give up, and be embarrassed in the public eye. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But they're coming back for their, um, their divine feminine energy, their light worker, their earth angel. Yeah, no doubt in my mind about that, you guys. All right, so let me get another deck. I want to get this one way over here. Okay. Let's see what else we've got for you in this reading. What else do you have for my beautiful collective? Yeah, see, this is your masculine. I feel like they're, they're being pretty hostile to the karmic right now, okay? But maybe they feel like they have to be because they know that this karmic wants revenge. All right, but they're closing out this cycle, I'm telling you. Yep, this is over with this karmic, and this masculine is protecting this. Yep, they, yep, they found the door to personal healing and happiness, and it, that door leads straight to you, okay? Their happiness, the, it's where you are, collective. I've got all, my deck is all kinds of messed up. Yep. Magician, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yep, they're going to do everything they can to fix this with their Earth Angel. And this is somebody that you've been nothing but patient with. Okay, I feel like you were... Oops, sorry about that. That was my fault. I feel like you were about to walk away from this connection. You were in the process of releasing and walking away. But this is a connection that's coming back together with the yin and the yang. This is definitely the a true soulmate connection here with the 22. Um, that to me is like the two of cups and a divine connection with the four. I feel like this is going to be very abundant. You guys are going to be building empires here. With an 11, that's another divine number. They were just about to lose you. Man, they come in and save this connection in the nick of time. I'm telling you. Yep, here they come, holding that heart. I'm, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I'm telling you now, this person's in love with you. They're coming back in to get their Earth Angel. That's it. That's, and this is like the Ten of Cups. Happy family. This connection is coming into union. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so get ready, collective, 
And I feel like this is where the karmic's going to be. A whole lot of financial constraints, taking that L, um, bare cupboards, okay, maybe not having any place to go. She may have to stay with a friend, something like that. Yep, this person's getting ready to talk. Open throat chakra. I'm telling you, and this conversation, whatever talk you have, it is going to change everything. You, this, is a, this is a union, you guys. This is you two coming back into union, the masculine coming back for their earth angel, the big talk that you have to have with each other. Okay, this is them cutting out this karmic, and this is union. The yin and the yang. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know what else to say. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> this is a union. You guys both love each other. You're both still in love. Okay? Yes. And I feel like it's going to lead to ultimate wish fulfillment. Get ready, collective. You are about to get back together um, with your divine counterpart here. Okay, and I'm telling you now, I would tell you otherwise, if I saw any kind of red flags in this reading, I would let you know. But this masculine is ready. Okay, do you understand? They're ready for union. Okay, um, and they're, they're literally proving it here on the mat. So, yeah, prepare for your person to come back around. Congratulations, you guys. You're going to have wish fulfillment, a caring connection. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Anyway, um, yeah, just take it how it resonates with you, right? Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out. <laughs>